I got my valve grinder fixed. There you go, you did? Nice noise. That was yesterday's project. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I did that off video, too. It's top secret. Top secret. All right, what are we doing? What's this? Brake. Shoe. That is a Filter. rag. That's my cleaner rag. Yeah. And in my pocket, so I can use it. Screwdriver. That thing. That thing. It's a spring. Sure. There's another spring. You put it in the hard way, it doesn't drag as bad. The hard way is one on the back side. Shit. Hey, no cussing on the no, no, no cussing on the Why video. This is going in. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez. You're not oh, sorry at all. I can tell. There's a uh, hey, there's a wall this hits on, okay? Yeah. And it won't, so I can't get it up high enough. So I got to cut this thing down a little bit. But I wanted to what cut are you two. Talking about? You said make the plug for your mom, man. It's just supposed to be something simple. Like oh, I, I was trying to figure out what fit on a motorcycle. No, so it goes. <laughs> anyway, it just goes up in there and it's hitting on something. So I need to cut this down a little bit. Okay. But then if we get it too small. Yeah. Then see, you get it too small, then it'll go up through the hole. Yeah. Can't be having that. Nope. Can't have that. Well, can't have that. You understand what I'm saying? No. Can't be having that. Yeah, you better. It's for your mom, man. Yeah. Hello, right here. Hello, right here. Actually, a spacer would be good. There, you, there it is. Than Walker. Yeah. Dirty. Grease, man. Oh, that's gonna s slip off and hit you right in the balls. Yeah. Good thing I got my clean rag right here. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. I think I need a piece of cardboard. Where's that piece of cardboard that I paid for? Uh, right there. It's right on the top, right there. It's on my vice. It's on my vice. It definitely isn't. Look at that. Can, can, Tatro muscle strong. Can't be no poo poo. Did have one hand too. We well, gotta use this one, this one, that one, the fancy one. The fancy one. The fancy one way up there on top. I can't reach that one. That one, that one. The one on top. This one. No. No? Not at 300 bucks an ounce. Found. You said the fancy one. This is the fancy one. Fancy one. You know what's in here, don't you? Not nothing too fancy. Them purples. Marine heavy duty grease. That's a, you should have some of this somewhere in North Island, don't you? Probably. Well, I need some more. I'm almost done. All right. It's heavy duty marine stuff. Military. Oh. This is military grease. I don't remember that. Some kind of military grease. It's for the military boats. Do they have boats over there in the Navy base? Uh, yes. Okay, good. They might have some grease over there then. I'll go talk to the maintenance dudes. That's right. See what's up. Purple. Three hundred dollars an ounce. Three sixty. So three hundred and sixty dollars an ounce, and that was sixteen. No, it's pounds. Three hundred. So that tub right there was three hundred and sixty bucks. Yeah. Retail. Retail. I got a full save on the deal. So you think that's gonna work now? Like I'll actually be able to I'll, stop? I'm gonna use that on good application. Right? Yeah. Not your job. Can I put it on upside down so it doesn't work right? I think we have to put it upside down. No, no put it upside down. It goes this way. So no, it does not. Then it doesn't work right. No, it does not. Then the brakes don't work. Oh, these have been modified. Yeah. You made this go backwards. Because the remember we had to extend the thing because we did a four inch. We had to expand. Yeah. Extend. Extend it. We had to expand your extended. Yeah. All right, and then what goes? I, I got a bolt that goes on. Big damn nut and washer goes over there somewhere. See, we had to grind the radius on the back side so that you work this backwards. Yeah. I remember normally, that now. Normally, there's a sharp edge right there. And you know what happens when you, have it, when you don't do that? What? It locks the brake up and rips the whole thing out of the back. When you don't do. Which you don't do what I just told you to do. Yeah, but you know, we did, but we did that already. You know how I know that? Because it's happened to you. It has happened before, yes. <laughs> you got to replace everything on the bike. 
How much torque is on that? Enough. One hand or two hand? Good and tight. Good and tight. There you go. Do you hear my knuckle yep. pulling against the edge? Of that? that takes a big 716 to that. It's supposed to be a tall one, about that tall. Do we have any here? And it's supposed to have a spacer. It's about that tall. It goes in there. And that slides back and forth in front of it. Yeah, I definitely didn't have that. You probably don't have any of that because you're a rigid frame. Yep. Where am I right? Where am I right? You keep on dropping it on the ground there, Grandpa. Look at that crap on the floor down you there. better clean that up. I'm calling it EPA. Damn. Yeah, well, I don't want that one right here. All right, so you got to tighten that up and down. That's adjustable pivot, so you got to adjust it. That's why we had to move that so you got some adjustment in there. Yeah. See how much movement you got? Not much. Bent You'll figure it out. All right, so let's get that spacer and big old bolt. Well, you got yours. Go get it. All right, uh, over here, right? You want to take it off the bike? Where's, right. one, where's one that goes on the bike? I don't know. Why well, you took it off the bike? I think I don't know where it is. Let's just get new ones. I'll pay for them. Where we go? Here we go. Whoa, whoa, look at this one. Hey, this one will work. Perfect. It's the size of your head. There you go. Boom. Perfect. Don't even need a washer. Or a spacer. How about a universal one on here? That'll work. Big out. one. Yeah, right. the expensive crap. Get out of the way. Move. Move your gut. I can't. There's a transmission case right here. Move your gut. You're in the way. You're in the way. Move. Move. Okay. What's the goddamn gonna do about anything? Can't help you think it's better or something. COVID take off. Can't even that. Big one. That one. Might resemble this one. Too big. How do you know it's too big? There, it went on. <laughs> One fits correctly is what you're saying? Probably. Oh, okay, what else you want? Probably a couple of these fat washers. Where's Do we your, have any spacers? Where's your spacer that goes on there? What, what do you bolt it to on the bike? I don't know. I just put it in there, man. That's it why against. it's all bent. What would you bolt it against? I don't know what your bike looks like. It had something in here one time. You had the correct part. Look at the goos in there. You got a big spacer somewhere. I don't not, I don't have it anymore. Why not? Because it's right. you can see where the marks are on there from using that. What'd you do with it? I don't know. I can't think of it right now. Well, you got it someplace. No, I don't. Let's just use it's about something. This bag around. You gotta have it. I don't have it. Well, you got to find one. All right. They're well, where cheap. are we digging? They're not cheap. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. You're a liar. No. Nope. Yeah, you know, look at that lion, straight lion face right there. Uh -huh. Just <laughs> spinning webs of lies. Calling and makes a kit. Comes with all these parts. All right, where are they? Comes with the bent stud, the washer, the bolt, and everything. Okay. You gotta buy the whole thing. I don't have that stuff separate. If you're cheap, like you, make one. Like that. Did that work? It's better than nothing, but you should have the correct part. I don't. You should have the correct part. Okay, you say I should, but I don't. So that's the that's the answer to that question that you're getting at me. Yeah. Where is it at? I don't. You ask me the same thing over and over again, man, and I give you the same answer. Look how big that nut is. Well, I know what your bike looks like. I can't put you something on the bike. I have no idea what you're using. You know what my bike looks like. It's been in your know. shop for like three years. I don't know what your back of your bike looks like where all this stuff goes on. <clears throat> Special locking nut, sort of thing mm -hmm. Sense of nut. Why does that make? What makes it a locking nut? Because that's right where the die goes in there and presses on it, and it collapses the thread. If you look at those threads in there, see how it's barrel shaped? Oh, okay. So that's a mechanical locking nut. That's so you go in there and you just crank on it, and it never yeah. comes off again. It spreads the nut back out, puts tension on it. That's what they call the locking nut versus standard nut that doesn't have those things on there yeah. and the thread goes in straight. Yep. Big difference. See, you didn't even know anything. No, I didn't know that. See, this one here is a nylock nut. I know that. 
so when it gets hot it just falls off <laughs> when this one gets hot it doesn't care so that's one of the uh, aircraft applications but they don't like that they use better stuff they got they get more expensive crap it's true we got around here and wash them yeah, shit and wash them the washer selection sucks this is drill out of drill out a uh that's an expensive socket. One. That's an expensive washer. Really. I'm going to pay a lot of money for those thick ones. Where's your locking washer at? At least when he's a locking nut on there like that. Then you have to hold it. Then you have to hold it with a screwdriver. Thanks, what, you got to work? Yeah, got it on there. Okay. See you guys fighting. Thank you. Take care. Have a good one. Whatever you fix, I have no idea. Something for mom. So if you use a lock this like this, it'll turn the pivot and it'll won't tighten up correctly. So if you use a mechanical locking wash and a regular nut, like that. We can use a lock washer. Then you can use a lock washer. And then it'll tighten up and this won't pivot on you. That's why they do a lock washer. Where are your lock washers at? Right. Or you put a lock nut on there. You can do a double jam nut. When you put two nuts together like that, crank them together, then it doesn't fall off. All kinds of fancy crap you can do. What do you want to do? What do you think will be good? I have no idea because I don't have a bike here to see how it's made because I bet you all this stuff there ain't room for it all. Because you probably got some kind of a bracket that you're using. Nope. What's it said? Just laser against something? Yep. That's why it broke. It wasn't torqued down. This was made to be tied down against something, yeah. not just laying against the side of something. Mm -hmm. That's why it bent on you. Yeah, I mean, that may absolutely makes sense. Yeah, so you gotta fix it? Hell no. You don't fix anything. That's your perfect lock washer. There bent. we go. That's a light lock washer, otherwise known as one that's all worn out. You see that one has more gripping force. Grippy boy. This is one of those ones that's worn out, you can have that one. Thank you. That's going in the pocket. That has more heavier action. Now this is a heavy lock washer here, see how thick it is. Why don't we use that one? That's Too big. One. That's a bigger one there, but see that's a light duty heavy. Yeah. Not much curve on it. Man, what are you doing? You're messing up mixing up my stuff. Jesus. There's a special thin ass one that's. Yeah, that I don't want that one. That's made for thin ass applications. That's the stuff that comes in those cheap ass kits when you buy stuff on the line. On the line? Online. Just throw it all away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Trashy boy. Do I look there, here, or over here? Right here. Right here. Right over here. There. Look right here. Right there, that thing? This thing right here. Look at that red thing down there. The red, this. Yeah, that thing there. You want to get the light on so you can't see. Yeah, you can see. Oh my God, I'm blind. There man. you go. I can't see anything now. All right, so this needs to be tightened up against a bracket. You have to adjust it to be, so it doesn't bend the backing plate. Okay. But it holds it solid. If you just have this bumped up against something, it's going to bend like you did before. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you should have some kind of a hard, rigid bracket on the vehicle. Well, it has, um... It's got the uh, hole in the frame, in the in the bracket. You got the two channel in the frame for yeah. the slider? Well, which the piece that goes in there is correct. I don't have, I didn't get that piece there. Well, you need to have the correct piece that slides in the bracket. So you might have to take this nut and modify it to fit inside okay. your frame. Well, I can do that. And then it would be correct. Yeah, I'll do that. It's not quite the right height, but it's close. Mm -hmm. So you might have to space it up with the washer to get up higher. I don't know, I don't have your bike here. So you have to figure it out yourself. All right. Do you think I should just grab one more of those washers there, no, just in case? These need to be slid down to the bottom position so you don't drag on the backing plate. What do you mean slid down to the bottom position? See how there's two grooves in the drawer? Yeah. You need it further down. You either go down or you want to go up higher for a dragon. Do you want to drag on the drum or do you want to be? Let, I don't want to be dragging any drums. Why don't we go over to the work? Bench. Just an adjustable workbench here, so you can see better. Is that one in the right spot? That one looks like it's in the right spot already. This one looks like it's in the right spot. Yep. Too. 
This one here looks like it's in the right spot. This side over here is not in the right spot. Yeah, we don't want any drum drag. There you go, see? This one is... See how this one's way low and this one's yeah. way high? Yeah, yeah it did. Point. That was right in the fucking middle. So it was problem. right in the middle. Yeah, this is the problem side over yeah. here. Oh, look at that. It won't drag now. It's down lower. That's good. Adjustable. Now, sometimes the shoes have a big spring, has a big mm -hmm. go bow this way. Then yeah. you got to reverse how they mount. But they're good right now. But usually, when you do them like this, the center line goes lower so it has more clearance for a drum in here. Gotcha. Or a hub of a wheel. Wheel of hub. Wheel, hub, and brake drum, they all drag. There you go. But that should be good then. Maybe. Now if they drag a lot on the outside edge, you can put a washer right there. But mm -hmm. that's not factory though. That's not factory, that's no. custom. That's custom. Alright. For some applications, you do have to custom work. Well, it looks like it'll work. It still moves, which is good. Yeah. This has a drag mark and you drag it on the ground. Yep. Okay, $500 later. Yeah, for real. What else do you need to do? I can't have my rag. I'm not, I don't need your I got my filthy hands, rag. I got my filthy hands dirty. I filthy, filthy rag. rag. Alright, so hold fun. this down, fucking hold this down. You gotta make torque this that fit. shit down. You gotta make this fit into your frame. Yeah, that'll be easy. I have a grinder. And the washer might have to be cut down too if it hits on that. I don't know. That's fine. I got a flap disc. Or maybe put the washer on that side, but then the lock won't work correctly. So. Yeah, no, I'll figure that out. That'll be easy. Yeah, sure it is. Where's your old shoes? They're in the trash. Did you show them? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, they were great. So, back brake was locking up. There's just pieces. When I opened it up, they were all cracked, dropped them, and they all just shattered off. Well, the lining you threw away already somewhere. Yeah, so. That's what they're. The, oh, yeah, we got about like 20% left. You still got breaking on there. We still got what? Yeah, all right, so got four. Here, got a little here, got a lot up here. You're fine. The pivot, yeah. you know, this is where the pressure's on this side. Anyway. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. They go out like that, so that's all you need. Huh, it's see. like power brakes. Look at that. Safety. Safety third. You could buy that lining I got for 10 bucks and reline these. No, I'm good. These are like new. 150. These are like new. These are vintage period correct iron head rear brake shoes. Not even hardly worn at all. Yeah. These 150 are... bucks. Get fucked, I know what I have. Hey. <laughs> Wrong website. All right. Can I go back to work now? Yep. See ya.